the reasons for my journey were rooted in cutting-edge science. Researchers have started unraveling the animal's genetic code. New evidence tonight that blurs the dividing line between us and them. We're nearer than we ever thought to our animal ancestors. And not just nearer. Some claim that genetically, we're practically the same. 99.4% identical to human DNA. And then, I heard about this. Now a group of scientists say we're so similar, chimps should be reclassified as members of the human family. The reasons for all this evidence seemed obvious. Chimps were people too. I wanted to tell the world. But Hello. I couldn't do it on my own. You've heard of chimpanzees? Yes. yes. Chimpanzees are people too. Over to you. They seemed impressed. Chimpanzees are people, people too. too. We're all people. We're all the same. We're yeah, all kind of yeah, there. What yeah. do you mean? How, why are they people too? We share 99.4% of the same crucial DNA with chimps. Yeah. And for 99.4. 99.4. Write that down. The New Eden. Exactly. The New Eden. I'm oh, trying to sell a vision. Trying to sell a vision. A belief. So Rebranding chimps. The ad agency were on board, and just one week later, they'd come up with some excellent ideas. It's a chimp stand, but we call them the humans. That would be cracking. But they'd also thought up an awkward question. The thing about the 99% is, are certain people going to cut the cynics? Are they going to come along and go, what about the 1%? I think the 1% is largely a, a fondness for bananas and, uh, and facial hair. <laughs> You've got facial hair, do you like bananas? <laughs> When they think of me, I want them to, you know, I want them to think, Danny Wallace, chimp. Now, with a logo and some flyers, I felt ready to take on the world of science. So I headed to the Royal Society, an organisation steeped in history and science. Today, I would mingle with some of the world's leading primate experts, the very scientists who spend their days studying the noble chimpanzee. I felt sure that these same people would jump straight on board and join my campaign. Chimps are people too. No? I don't really agree, though, you see, so... Um, oh, don't you? No. I think uh, people are chimps too. That's good. That's nice. I like that. Chimps right. are people too. Well, yes, in the light in which we're talking about it today, yes. Yeah? Chimps are people too. Yes. I'd say it's probably factually inaccurate. Factually inaccurate? No. Aren't they a bit like toddlers? No. No? No. Uh, no. It's not going, it's not going 100% well. I'll be honest, it wasn't even going 99.4% well. It seemed like the more eminent a scientist was, the more he'd disagree with me. Like Professor Andy Whiten, who was quite clear when I asked him what the one big difference was. Well, I, I think there's more than one big difference. Um, and in a sense, it's in the brain. We, our brains are three times as big and structured differently. And then the output of that is we have speech and language, which wild apes really don't do. At least Andy Whiten spoke to me. Many just ignored me or turned away and pretended to drink tea. Or they'd try and warn me off the whole project, like Professor Nicholas Humphrey. And if I said the phrase, chimps are people too, to you, what would your reaction be? I would wonder why on earth you were saying it. I really? Would, it, chimps are not people. I mean, chimps are chimpanzees and people are people. And why would you want to confuse them? It won't do chimps any good. And it certainly won't help, really help us understand much more about human beings either. I feel like maybe... Uh, the scientific community aren't really taking me that seriously. Which is annoying, because it's 50 quid of these, mate. <laughs>